Hello. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. It's um, overcast, cloudy today. I'm not sure if we're going to get rain. We had a few days of some rain. Uh, they did say that it's going to get hot. Like we might have next few days, maybe even today might be hot. It feels cool right now, but I did, I think I saw that we're gonna go up to 30 degrees Celsius today, or maybe it's tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. So yeah, it's getting warm. Um, so today's or this morning's topic is cost of living in Japan. I think I did a video of it. I did three, it got split into three, but I think I rattled on and on and on and I thought, you know what, let me try to be a little bit more organized with my thoughts. Um, so, cost of living in Japan, it is high, you know, oh, I thought she was going to come up. It is high. Um, sorry, truck. I was giving her a fly. I wanted to, to let her go through, but she's indecisive. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> it is high. It has gotten high. Hold on. <clears throat> um, I mean, the cost of living everywhere has increased. It just It's just a matter of can you find deals can you find inexpensive things quality things that aren't expensive yeah you can so let me compare my time in Jamaica this was after COVID or, or during COVID rather and after COVID ended well it hasn't ended has it but after the whole you know stay at home thing was um, dropped um, when I was in Jamaica, now I was working online and my, my business has, had sort of dropped a little bit. Yeah, it wasn't as good as it was before because when I was in Japan and I was teaching online, I had more students then than when I went to Jamaica. And I did, I did start off not too badly in Jamaica because I was getting up very early, like to start working at 5 a.m. teaching online at 5 a.m. Um, but I couldn't sustain that. I couldn't. And 5 a.m., 4.30, 5 a.m. was the earliest I could force myself to get up. After all, I was like, this is, I'm tired, <laughs> I'm tired. So I started with, started working from eight and I'd not work straight, but I'd work from eight to about four, you know, taking breaks of course long breaks in some cases but it just wasn't the same like the amount of students I was getting online wasn't the same so yeah um, so there was that but generally it was hard to find things at reasonable prices everything was expensive even the cheap things like the cheap quality things were expensive ridiculously expensive I complained every time I went shopping for the three years I was back in Jamaica, I complained. Okay, so when my friends in Japan were, were telling me, yeah, things have gotten expensive, things are expensive here. Persons who weren't working, you know, maybe because of their age, they were retired or whatever, they some of them had to get jobs, you know, even part-time jobs. So when I came back, yes, I could see that the cost of living had gone up. Things were a little bit higher. However, one thing I would say is it is possible to find um, things at fairly good prices, decent prices. Um, of course, some supermarkets are more expensive than others. So there's that. You'd have to find a supermarket that is that sells things a little cheaper or... Let's say there's a supermarket that sells, if you buy meat, um, certain meats cheaper. But it sells like grains and stuff, rice and whatever, a little bit high. You could decide to buy your meats there. So organize how you'd travel, you know, how you'd move. 
you don't want to be like going all over the place because in the end it doesn't it's not cost effective but let's say you are passing the supermarket or you will pass that supermarket at a certain time of the week you could buy your meats there and then go to the other supermarket at another time that's one option <clears throat> sorry there are some places that do sell things a little bit less you could shop there and yeah there are so with me I shop at certain supermarkets um, and I'm still learning because there I'm sure there are other places I could go that are cheaper I like to buy my vegetables and stuff from the JE and that is usually a little less and quality you have variety of qualities you have some that are really nice and some that you're like mm, I don't know but they're local locally sourced stuff your produce like your vegetables and rice so I like brown rice um, it's hard to find brown rice genmai in the supermarkets white rice rolls here so but there's some places you can find brown rice um, so the JA you can go and they'll have like rice from different parts of Japan and you can choose and they're usually in their raw state meaning they're brown and you can have them polished to white rice or you know as is I usually request about 30% of polishing 30 to 40 percent of polishing and um, yeah that is how I usually buy my rice the thing is the JA in my town closes but it is closed by the time I get home from work that's the problem so I'd have to do it on a weekend uh, from work there are some JA stores from on my way to or from work however they're kind of they're not on my route so it would be it's like you know you're turning off to go there it's not cost effective so I just have to buy my rice on the weekend I haven't gone there to buy rice yet no I haven't yet but yeah that ex well I, I did in when I was living in another town um, I did that uh, but that's the that's what's going on um, there are what we call Hyakuen stores Daiso is a very popular one and I think it is also available overseas and there's Seria Seria and a few others and I those are the two ones I usually go to between Daiso and Seria and they sell lots of stuff for the home for the office and they are cheap and um, even though they're cheap the quality isn't necessarily cheap quality you can get fairly nice things um, my, my plates are sourced from Daiso and Seria my plates are nice looking plates my plates and uh, so my kitchen items to uh, my utensils they're from Daiso or Seria they're really good I wouldn't I don't buy pots from them I want I want to I really want to make sure the pots are of good quality so I don't buy pots from them I will go to a regular store and buy a pot I look at where it's from where it was made and the the material so yeah so it is, it is possible to to find inexpensive things now rent that is shopping around you just have to shop around for what for the, the place you want to live in meaning location the age of the building um, the design the cost the costs I'm putting like the rent the maintenance parking I'm gonna talk about something else key money oh I hate those that thing um, so you will have to shop around for that and on top of on top of that if you're if you're not Japanese whether they will rent to a foreigner because there is discrimination when it comes to that as if foreigners are the nastiest um, um, uncivilized barbaric people to rent so that happens I I think I mentioned sometime before I personally haven't um, experienced this or I'm not aware of experiencing this most of the times I've either gotten my apartment through my job my company um, or um, I've rented you UR apartment that's the letter U and the letter R and these are open to rent to anyone they're quite um, it varies you have high-end to low-end nice apartments um, 
and yeah, I like you are a part of it actually. But unfortunately, they're not. Most of them, most of them are not pet friendly, and I would like to get a pet. So there's that. What else? Um, so other than that, you know, you may end up not getting to rent somewhere because you are, you just happen to be a foreigner. And I don't understand why they refuse to, but there, there's that discrimination. Call it, if you want to call it discrimination, if you want to call it racism, um, you know, yeah, it exists here. It's not fair. It's, and it's actually, I think it's, I think it's illegal. I think it is. It's, you certainly shouldn't be, they should, certainly shouldn't be doing it. They shouldn't refuse you service in a, in a restaurant because you're a foreigner. But I've heard that that happens. Um, if I've been refused without realizing it's possible, maybe I've gone to a restaurant and they said they're full and they're not. And I'm just like, you know, I don't really look to see if it's true. I, but I can't recall being refused to stay, to eat in a restaurant because I think I'm a foreigner. That's not my, my experience. But I've heard people say that that exists and sometimes there will be signs that actually say it. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? But I haven't I haven't seen that. It may depend on the area. Maybe it's more prevalent in places where there are a lot of foreigners, and then they, they maybe because of a bad experience, these places or people have blanketed all foreigners to be like that. That does happen, and that is discrimination or prejudice. Um. Right, so yeah, you could find you can find low end to high end rentals, and the appearance or you know the the place, the quality or niceness of the place will also vary. Now, pertaining to renting, oh, we're at twelve minutes. Oh man, I really didn't want to go over twelve minutes. Hey, make up your mind. You're either in the right lane or the left lane. Um. Renting is a whole other, this whole other monster. There is key money, which is money you give to the landlord and you never get that back. It's not a deposit, that's separate. Key money, I forgot the Japanese name, is money you give them to say, thank you for renting me the place. When I did a little research, um, I think somebody said it was more like a bribe thing originally, where it was hard to find rents rentals it was maybe during or maybe after the war and so if you could get a one-up on the next person you 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 know you give them a little thank you gift in the form of money and it's a tradition that has continued now it's not for it's not the same but some landlords require you to pay key money and the key money can be as I don't know if it's half the rent but as much as as little as one month's rent to up to three months rent I've heard so far the ones I've been looking at is one to two months rent key money that you give and you never get back you're just saying thank you for renting me the place hey I'm already paying you a month's rent you can set the rent a little higher if you want more money so instead of saying renting the place for 50,000 rent it for 60 60 55 to 55 to 70,000 to get that little extra but why am I giving you a whole month's rent, two months rent of money just to say thank you for renting me the place? That is ridiculous. And it seems to be legal. It certainly isn't illegal. Um, so that happens. And what else? You have maintenance uh, fee, which means that they kind of, there's an upkeep of the place. And hopefully they do that. You may have to rent parking space. What else? And there is insurance guarantor money so you can get a it, I think it used to be that you you could have someone sign as a guarantor for you but they and, and that would be Japanese and foreigners but I think they've changed that when I did my research recently they've changed and now they use a guarantor company because I guess even the person who signs as a guarantor can end up on hard times and um, they won't get their money but if they have a guarantor company that you've paid money to then if you skip out on the rent and move out they can get that money from the guarantor company so there is that 
Um, some places are not that strict. Like I said, you are is kind of nice to rent from. And I've learned about Village House. That's also good. Uh, Leo Palace Apartments will rent to foreigners also. They are a little pricey, but it's a nice little apartment that's pre-furnished with the basics. Yeah. So that's it. Cost of living in Japan has gone up, but it's possible to find deals if you shop around, especially if you learn where the locals go, like the grandmothers, the obasans, ojisans. You can probably find um, inexpensive places to shop. Um, pay, it depends on what you're doing. It depends and uh, and how you budget but yeah that's all I've got to say I've gone 15 minutes sorry about that all right take care guys